Ken Osmond was an American actor known for his iconic role as Eddie Haskell on the 1950s television sitcom, Leave it to Beaver. Osmond was born on June 7, 1943 in Glendale, California. Before Ken Osmond landed his iconic role as Eddie Haskell on Leave it to Beaver, he starred in several commercials and began working as an extra in several feature films. Ken Osmond began his acting career as a child actor at the age of four. He was also featured on Good Morning Miss Dove, Wagon Train, Fury, Circus Boy, Lassie, and even an episode on Petticoat Junction. Just an orchid, that's all. I'm getting 50 cents to deliver to your mom. In 1957, Ken Osmond was 14 years old when he tried out for the role of Wally Cleaver's best and worst friend, Eddie Haskell, on the family sitcom Leave it to Beaver. The show starred Theodore the Beaver Cleaver and his brother Wally along with their parents June and Ward Cleaver. The boys were always learning life lessons from their parents or getting into trouble with their best friends. So the character of Eddie was supposed to be a one-shot guest appearance, but everyone on the show, um, the directors, producers, were super impressed with Osmond's portrayal of Eddie Haskell. And so that's how he became the memorable character on the series that we know and love today. Everyone has a friend like Eddie. He was funny, he was always getting into trouble with Wally and Lumpy and all of their friends, or giving Beaver some bad advice. And he was also known for sucking up to Mr. and Mrs. Cleaver. He was a rebellious teenager and was often seen with his friends getting in some type of trouble. Hey, Eddie. You know Kathleen Hartzer? Oh, I know Kathleen Hartzer. What do you think would happen if I asked her for a date? She'd burst out laughing. <laughs> Come on, Eddie, I'm not kidding. Neither am I. <laughs> Look who's here. It's Gilbert the Good. I came to see Beaver. Beaver's not home. Well, um, is Mrs. Cleaver home? What are you doing, selling Girl Scout cookies? <laughs> do, 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 do. Whose turn is it to jump? We're playing chess, not checkers. Oh. Then who's turning it to do something? Will you be quiet? This is a game for grown-ups, not runs. <laughs> Famous black-and-white American television sitcom, Leave it to Beaver, ran for six seasons between 1957 and 1963. After Leave it to Beaver ended, Ken Osmond made several other appearances in television series. In 1969, Ken Osmond married his wife, Sandra Purdy. They had two sons, Eric and Christian. But most people got to know me as a teenager. On the TV series, Leave it to Beaver. My father says it doesn't pay to waste time with people who don't count. Well, it's nice of you to come over here anyway, Eddie. Eddie Haskell was good to me. And the series had a terrific six-year run. But when it ended in 1963, my acting career started slowing down. And I started looking for some financial stability. The city of Los Angeles was kind enough to offer me a paycheck every other Wednesday for pursuing my second career as a cop. In 1970, Ken Osmond joined the Los Angeles Police Department where he worked as a motorcycle officer. In his later years, Ken Osmond stayed very active and appeared in film festivals and was often a celebrity spokesperson. He was also the co-author of the book, Eddie, The Life and Times of America's Preeminent Bad Boy, which was published in September of 2014. Ken Osmond passed away on May 18, 2020, surrounded by his loving family. And he will be remembered and missed by all.